Jonathan, it's good to see you. Welcome, of course, to Jonathan Boyd here. My name is Ryan Withrow. What are the best acoustic guitar strings? So in general, just like electric, uh, any guitar, there's, I mean, just like going to the gas station, you have tons of choices for candy bars, right? There's tons of different choices for strings. Um, I would say your for most people, your standard basic solid string, um, something basic from D'Addario, from Ernie Ball, some of the bigger manufacturers, if you just get their standard strings, you're going to be perfectly fine. Now, this question is about acoustic strings. So when we talk about acoustic strings, obviously, there are lots of choices, just like there are for electric strings. But I want to make a distinction that acoustic strings are generally thicker than electric strings. And also one big distinction of most acoustic strings is that the, the G string is actually wound. So just like your low E string, your A string, and your D string, how they have those whines, or it sounds like, um, like, like this. It allows us to do those long scratches or dive bombs. Um, acoustic strings have a wound G string most of the time, where electric strings don't. So if you're playing electric and you want to do a lot of bending, what's called a plain string or the strings without the winds will help you uh, bend and get up to the pitch that you're looking for a lot easier. On an acoustic guitar, it's a lot harder to do that because when you try to bend a wound string, you have to bend it a lot further to get to the same pitch. So if you plan on doing a lot of bending on your acoustic guitar, you might want to look for some lighter gauge strings, something that are easier to bend. Honestly, maybe even go with some electric strings, but specifically for acoustic, Let's say you're playing something acoustic like finger style, strumming, uh, maybe playing around a campfire, singing and playing. Um, usually you want to go with like a medium uh, gauge string. So not super light because you don't need you don't need it to be super light. You don't need to do a lot of bending and stuff. When you go with a heavier gauge string, it'll make the sound bigger. It will sound like uh, more deep, more rich. Uh, but you also don't want to go too heavy on the string gauge because it will make your hands hurt. It will be harder to press the chords down, etc. So I think a general medium gauge acoustic string is about 12. Uh, 11 is kind of on the light side, but 12 is about medium. 13 is getting into thicker jazz territory. Now, when it comes to the actual types of strings, personally, I've played maybe four or five different types of acoustic strings. Uh, the first batch being kind of the basic solid standard acoustic strings that you can find, like I said, from D'Addario, Erty Ball, all the big string manufacturers. Um, there are other ones that either have a, there's some colored strings, which personally I, I wouldn't recommend those because they don't sound very good, uh, but they make other strings, specifically Elixir makes uh, strings that are coated. And when I say they're coated, I mean the strings actually have a coat of Teflon or some you know proprietary material on them, which makes them feel slick. And I've found that the, number, not only does it feel better, uh, they, they last longer because they don't get as dirty and you can slide your hand around easier um, and I find that any maybe potential negative effects of the sound, uh, like sound dampening that the coating would cause, you don't even really notice it because the quality of your playing increases so much. So as far as best acoustic strings, I would actually give two answers. One is you can just get your standard cheap $5, $6 uh, acoustic strings from the big name brands. But... I also really like the elixir strings because they're they're very slick and they feel very good. This is why we get along, uh, because <laughs> I think I have like way too much uh, elixir uh, merchandise in the closet. Uh, it's one of those things I feel like I should probably own stock at this point. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, same reason. I, I think I just found myself changing strings so often. Uh, and yeah. because, you know, even if you play. Let's be honest, even if you play 20 minutes a day uh, and you just grab the guitar, it doesn't take long uh, for a lot of the guitar strings to just get kind of like no. that, that gross grit on them. Uh, and it sounds terrible, but there's nothing like a brand new, fresh set of strings. All right. Mm -hmm. So I second that. Hey there, and thanks for watching that video. That's just one of our shorter clips from the longer Q&A sessions we do a ton here at Breakthrough Guitar. And if you're interested in seeing those and seeing everything that we have here, I highly recommend you click the button right there and subscribe. Also, speaking of the other videos we do, feel free to click right over there to start digging into those and advancing your guitar playing. We look forward to it, and we will see you next time.